Hey guys, so I know it has been a while since I've done a grocery haul, and honestly, I didn't plan on doing one today, but I was just about to put everything up, and I thought, why not? So, it's pretty unorganized. I hope this video turns out okay. I like to lay all my groceries out on the kitchen table and show it that way, but like I said, this is a last minute thing, so hopefully showing it to you like this is okay. So, and ignore my hair. It's super frizzy and poofy and wavy. It has rained and rained all day long. I'm so over it, but we shopped at Walmart. And honestly, I have no idea where my receipt is at right now, but I'm pretty sure it was $152, which is over our budget. I like to keep it at $100 or less per week, including household items, but you know, it's all right. So we're going to get started. First, I'm going to start with the um, non-food items. So we got a big box of diapers for Boston. These last him a long time. It's the biggest one that we can find. And then I also got some more foundation. I just ran out today. It is the Maybelline Super Stay in Natural Ivory. I have really bad acne. And this covers really good. I love this stuff. And then, and then I got a little box of these little glue-on nails. I haven't bought something like this since I was in like middle school. But I have a couple friends that use these all the time. And their nails always look so nice. So I was like... I'm gonna give it a try. It'll probably be an epic fail for me, but you know, we'll try. <laughs> so, I also got one of these JoJo bows for Riley. And then Josh got him two pair, oh, I thought something dropped. And then Josh got him two pair of basketball shorts. And I'm pretty sure that is all the non-food items. So, now we'll jump into the food. So, I got some pizza sauce for a recipe this week coming up. I'm going to be making a homemade stromboli. So, if you want to see how to do that, I do plan on making a whole video about that coming up soon. I got an English cucumber to put in salads and just to snack on. I got some of these Kool-Aid jammers for the kids. Um, this is also for another recipe that I'm going to be trying this week. Some nacho cheese soup and some beef broth it's like a cheesy nacho beefy skillet i really don't know what it was called but it will be in my what's for dinner what's for dinner video coming up next week so we'll see how that goes i also picked up some bread flour i'm going to be making some homemade pizza dough for that stromboli i picked us up some a1 sauce this is a staple in our house and we were completely out and Walmart had their Lunchables on sale for $1, so I stocked up. I may have got a little carried away. Um, I got, let's see. I got 14 Lunchables. I got four of the chicken nugget ones for Boston. And then I got 10 of the pizza Lunchables for Riley. And I'm not going to lie, I was a little embarrassed putting these in my buggy because... Josh took the kids in a separate buggy and they were shopping in a different part of the store. So it was just me grabbing all these Lunchables and I'm telling you I was getting some looks, but whatever. My kids are going to be happy. So um, I picked up some more tinfoil. We were completely out of that. Got some chili beans. That's also for that beefy nacho skillet thing for next week. Along with some tor tortilla chips. That's also for that recipe. And then I have these little microwave cheese cups. It's the first time that I'm trying the great value kind, but Boston loves to have these, so we're gonna try those out. And then I got this um, cheddar and sour cream chips for Riley. She loves these. And the family size was 250, and like the normal size was 248. So I was pretty excited about that. And then I got these for Boston. And then that's everything over here. And now I have a bunch of stuff over here. So I got a loaf of wheat bread and it looks like it got smushed. Ah! Looks like it got smushed in the trunk. I hate when that happens. But it'll be okay. And then I got two bunches of bananas. We go through these like crazy. So hopefully those will last. We got some mozzarella sticks and some slices of sharp cheddar cheese. My kids love to snack on both of these. And then I just got one avocado, which I love to have for breakfast with um, some toast. Two little Roma tomatoes for a salad. I 
I got a bag of these cutie oranges. We all four love these. And a ball of fresh mozzarella cheese. This is for that um, Stromboli. I got some Danimals. Normally I get the big um, family pack, but we had some left over from last week, so I just picked up the smaller pack this week. And then I got a bag of salad mix and some plain Greek yogurt. I'm gonna be using this to make some air fryer, Weight Watcher bagels. I'm not on Weight Watcher or anything, but um, it's a great recipe. I've tried it before and we really liked it. So I'm gonna also be sharing that bagel recipe in my what's for dinner, what's for dinner video coming up. I got some sharp cheddar cheese and I got um, a half gallon of 2% milk. Um, Riley has just quit drinking milk. She used to go through it like crazy and now she won't even touch it. I don't know what's going on, but I needed this mainly for cooking. So that's why I just picked up half a gallon and this was only like 58 cents. I'm pretty sure. And then I got the mega pack of pepperonis. Riley and Josh like to snack on these. And then I also needed it for the strong belly recipe. And then I also got some honey ham and salami. Um, both of these are also for that strong belly recipe. And then I got some pizza rolls for Riley. Um, she really likes these cooked up in the air fryer. And then I got some of this half and half mix. This is what I like to use for my salads. Josh doesn't care for it as much. That's why I got him the other bag of salad mix. And then I got some strawberries. Riley goes to these really fast. And then Josh also takes those to work. And I got some blueberries. Boston loves blueberries. And then, and then I picked up some blackberries because I plan on making a blackberry cobbler. And to go along with that, I got some vanilla ice cream to go on top. So I'm pretty sure that I showed you guys everything. I need to start getting my cold stuff put up. But if you like these types of videos, make sure that you give me a thumbs up so that I know to make future videos. And also, I'm wanting to film a Q&A. So if you guys have any questions, it doesn't even have to be food related. Just anything that you're curious about, let me know in the comments and I will make a video once I get enough questions. So if you haven't already, you should hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you here. And that's it for today. I will see you guys next time. Bye.